So you guys on crypto news today it says uh, crypto can make you more attractive. A poll suggests. So live in Coma Paper Blog article by uh Safety, Market Musings, Coma Paper Alexandra. So if your boy your key is here, so you want to click on the big red subscribe button beneath our videos so you get notified whenever we drop awesome content content. And also if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section. We'll try as much as possible to attend to you. I heading back to the news, it says uh, roses are red, violets are blue. Did you know that Bitcoin is a store of value? So to use a British tone of phrase, cryptocurrencies are like marmites. You uh, either love them or you hate them. So why Bitcoiners and the NFT collectors and altcoin devotees are perfectly content in their uh, little corners of crypto Twitter? A non significant uh, chunk of the population just can't stand it, I said. But if a new survey is to be believed, there is hope for single sad uh, stackers who are hoping to find love this uh, Valentine's Day. So according to it, to rotate 3% of uh, Americans would actually be more likely to go on a date with someone who mentions cryptocurrencies in their dating profiles. So this is where the attractiveness comes from. So there's a bit of gender divide here. Yeah, uh, why 40% of men uh, said they would be more interested if crypto is mentioned? The same is only true for 25% of women. So bizarrely, 74% uh, of those pools said they would be interested in going on a second date with someone who paid the bill in Bitcoin. So this uh, certainly raises a few questions. Firstly, have you tried finding a restaurant that accepts BTC? And second, surely you should be more interested in the person than the payment method they use. Uh, Anna Stone, the terrorist uh, director of corporate social responsibility, said, from online dating to investing in traditional and crypto assets, app-based interactions have become a central part of some of the biggest life projects we can embark upon. At a time when we make can make a, our most inherently personal choices with the click of a button, our latest survey findings help illuminate the connections between how we navigate two seemingly unrelated topics. So you want to check out the CMC uh, podcast, they are usually very informative also. And back to the news, it says, uh, should you give NFT for a Valentine's wedding uh, day? So the Etero survey also contains some facts and figures that may prove useful for those of us already in a relationship. In a sign that romance can, may be dead, 34% of those pulled would be uh, most uh, excited to receive cash or gift card, and just 12% would prefer to receive jewelry. Overall, it seems uh, opting for a non forgeable token may be a risky move if you are hoping to please your significant order. So, just 8% say that data art is at the top of your wish list. So, at least the pool puts an uh, optimistic uh, spin on things. Point out that if you end up getting dumped after giving an NFT as a gift, it could end up being an effective tool for getting a new date. So that's the because twenty percent of singletons say that they are more interested in someone romantically after seeing that they have an NFT profile picture. So there are downsides here. If the NFT is your profile picture, how will your love interest have any way of finding out how you really look like? Unless maybe you have other pictures on your uh, profiles on your uh, timeline. So guys, that's all. It's your boy Key. Stay tuned for more. Peace out and one love. Don't forget to subscribe guys, click on the red subscribe button for more updates.